Good morning, students. <coughs> Hope you are well. Today's topic, as you know already, is mesenteric cyst. They are found in the mesentery and they are classified <coughs> into following four types. The chylolymphatic cyst, Simple mesothelial cysts, enterogenous cysts, urogenital remnants, and dermoids, these are found in the mesentery and they present clinically as mesenteric cysts. Now let us see them <coughs> one by one. The chylolymphatic cyst is the commonest variety, probably arises in congenitally misplaced lymphatic tissue that has no efferent communication with the lymphatic system. It arises most frequently in the mesentery of the ileum. The thin wall of the cyst, which is composed of connective tissue lined by flat endothelium, is filled with clear lymph or less frequently with chyle, varying in consistency from watered milk to cream. The <coughs> enterogenous cysts, a chylolymphatic cyst has a blood supply that is independent from that of the adjacent intestine. Thus, enucleation of this cyst is possible without the need for resection of the gut and anastomosis. The enterogenous cysts are believed to be derived either from the diverticulum of the mesenteric border of the intestine that has become sequestered, sequestrated from the intestinal canal during embryonic life or from a duplication of the intestine. An enterogenous cyst has a thicker wall than a chylolymphatic cyst and it is lined by mucous membrane, sometimes ciliated. The content is mucinous and is either colorless or yellowish brown as a result of past hemorrhage. The muscle in the wall of an enterogenic cyst is enteric duplication cyst and the bowel with which it is in contact have a common blood supply. Consequently, removal of the cyst always entails resection of the related portion of the intestine. The clinical features of a mesenteric cyst are as follows. A mesenteric cyst is encountered most frequently in the second decade of life, less often between the ages of 1 and 10 years, exceptionally in infants under 1 year. The patient presents on account of a painless abdominal swelling. The swelling is cystic in nature and a cyst of the mesentery present characteristic, characteristic physical signs. There is a fluctuant swelling near the umbilicus. The swelling moves freely in a plane at right angles to the attachment of the mesentery and there is a zone of resonance around the cyst. Recurrent attacks of abdominal pain with or without vomiting. The pain results from recurring temporary impaction of food bolus in the segment of bowel narrowed by the presence of cyst or possibly from torsion of the mesentery itself. An acute abdominal catastrophe which arises as a result of either torsion of that portion of the mesentery containing the cyst, rupture of the cyst often as a result of comparatively trivial accident or hemorrhage into the cyst or infection into the cyst. Radiography 
Ultrasound and CT scan will demonstrate the lesion and may allow diagnosis of the cyst type. A barium meal and follow through may show displacement of the hollow viscera around the cyst and not infrequently some portion of the lumen of the small intestine will be narrowed. Treatment. <coughs> Many chylolymphatic cysts can be enucleated in toto when after aspiration of about half of the contents of the cyst, the major portion of the cyst has been dissected free but one portion abutting on the intestine or a major blood vessel seems too dangerous to remove. This portion can be left attached and its lining destroyed by careful diathermy to prevent recurrence. This is the specimen of chylolymphatic cyst, mesenteric cyst removed. This is the sign of mesenteric cyst as is very nicely shown, the <coughs> attachment of the mesentery root, as you know, is from the right <coughs> left subcostal to the right iliac fossa, in, and the, the, the swelling moves at right angles to this <coughs> axis, but does not move in, its, uh, in this axis. This is the sign of a intra-abdominal swelling of mesenteric cyst. Thank you. Yes, sir.